Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about something you may have heard or read about called brachytherapy. Brachytherapy has been used for other cancers. The one that comes to mind is prostate cancer. What it really is is delivery of radiation through radiation pellets, which in the case of early stage breast cancer, would be placed in the cavity after the tumor is removed. There are a couple ways to do this. The one most commonly used is through a balloon that has a lot of different catheters coming out of it, and that's placed at the time that you have your lump removed, placed right into the cavity, and then radioactive seeds, we call them, go through the catheters and stay in that balloon. Eventually, the balloon is removed. So who would we consider this for? Well, it was highly investigated, lots of studies being done, and very much enthusiasm among those doctors that were trying it for their patients that what we found is that it's less effective in people who have estrogen receptor negative tumors, in people who have a closer positive margin, in people with a larger tumor size. We can't use it if people have multiple areas of cancer in the breast. And in fact, a study published quite a while ago showed that two thirds of people who received brachytherapy actually weren't even really good candidates for it. So this is not something we use very often in the treatment of breast cancer, but it's a good term to know and understand. If you're eligible for a clinical trial, it's good to know what it's about, but it's really not part of our standard of care uh, in this day and age. We also don't have a lot of positive findings suggesting that the cosmetic outcome is better if you have this type of therapy than if you have regular external beam radiation. So I hope it's been helpful just to hear about the term. Again, we use this for prostate cancer, so it's not investigational for all cancers, but it's really not part of our standard treatment of early stage breast cancer. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, click like and subscribe so other people can find these videos, other people going through treatment who may have the exact same questions that you have.